In this video we're gonna look at the Nissi 77mm close-up lens and we're gonna compare it to the classic Raynox 250. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So Nissi asked me if I wanted to review their new close-up lens and I said yes because I haven't talked a lot about close-up lenses on this channel and they can be a really good complement to a macro lens or even something to buy instead of a macro lens in some situations. So this basically is like a big magnifying glass that you can put in front of any lens to get more magnification. And uh, it feels very well made, very well built. And in this video I'm gonna compare it to the classic DCR250 from Raynox and see where they differ and where they are alike. The Nissi filter is uh, about double the price. It costs around uh, $140 but while the Raynox costs maybe $70. I'm gonna try them both on my uh, 40 to 150 millimeter micro four thirds lens, uh, which is uh, 80 to 300 millimeter uh, equivalent on full frame. I began by checking the magnification on both the Raynox and the Nissi filter to see where they're at. And the Nissi filter gives you a one time magnification at 300 millimeter. And the Raynox gives you actually twice that, you get twice as close with it. Uh, so if you want to get really, really close, the Raynox might be the better choice. But the niche that I think Nissi is aiming at is the people with a long telephoto zoom, such as a 70 to 300 millimeter or maybe a 70 to 200, who don't maybe want to switch to a dedicated macro lens when they want to take close-ups, but instead want to have something simple to just screw on in front of the lens to get a lot closer. And for that purpose the Nissi is really good. You get to one-time magnification as the closest, but uh, if you use the zoom range on your telephoto zoom, you can also take shots that are at less than that in magnification, while still being closer than you would have been able to get without the Nissi filter. When it comes to optical uh, characteristics, I would say the Nissi filter, as far as I can see, is flawless. Super sharp, no vignetting, no other problems, no chromatic aberration that I could see. It's just a great product, it is well built, uh, feels actually pretty heavy, and it gives you great photos. Speaking of great photos, I really apologize for the really <laughs> bad photos in this video. I was kind of time constrained and uh, usually I aim to take photos I like myself when I'm doing a video, but uh, <laughs> I don't think any of the photos in this video came out very pretty, but yeah. Uh, technically, they could be used to see uh, the optical quality of the Nissi lens, so that's why I <laughs> include them here. <laughs> anyway, you get two uh, step-up rings with the Nissi close-up lens. You get one from uh, 67 mm to 77 mm and you get one from 72 mm to 77 mm. And the close-up filter itself is of course 77 mm. So, uh, if you have a front element that is 72, 67 or 77 millimeters, you will be able to use this lens out of the box. Uh, if you don't have that, you will have to buy your own step-up ring or even maybe a step-down ring uh, to fit the filter on your lens. But other than that, you can put it on pretty much any lens and you will get more magnification the longer the focal length. So don't use this with a wide-angle lens, it will not give you any magnification. Uh, I would say use it on long telephoto zooms, that is where it shines. So, as I mentioned earlier, I think this lens is probably good for anyone who isn't serious about macro photography but still want to be able to take macro shots now and then. Um, people who use a telephoto zoom and want to be able to quickly take a close-up shot without changing lens, then the Nissi filter is great. Uh, for anyone who wants to be serious about macro photography, I would definitely recommend a dedicated macro lens instead or a close-up filter with more magnification such as a Raynox DCR250 where you get a lot closer. Uh, also the Raynox DCR250 is uh, cheaper as I mentioned, so the Nisi really fits a very narrow niche, uh, but if you're outside that niche, I don't think it is a good purchase. If you're in that niche, then it's great. 
So, why wouldn't you just buy the Raynox 250 instead? It is cheaper, it is more lightweight, and it gets you closer to your subject. Well, one reason not to buy the Raynox would be that maybe it takes you too close. Maybe you are the kind of person who wants to photograph flowers or like see me big things. Then I think the Nisi filter is a much more balanced filter to get because it gets you uh, a more flexible uh, magnification range. Uh, with the Raynox you kind of get very very close and that is what you have to deal with. There is also another reason why the Nissi is better than the Raynox and I will show you more example photos of the Raynox and tell you that reason in a moment. First I want to talk about Squarespace. Who are the sponsors of this video? What you're looking at right now is my portfolio website and I built it using Squarespace which is a website building tool and a place where you can get domain names and they make it so easy. So easy to quickly create your own website, your portfolio website or any kind of website. Uh, you don't need to know anything about uh, coding or design, they have everything ready for you, very beautiful templates, it is easy to add photos and to rearrange them. Uh, you can pick any look on your page from the beautiful templates that they provide. Squarespace is simply great and you can try it for free, just go to squarespace.com and when you're ready to try it for real, use my code MICHAELWIDEL for a 10% discount. So, the Raynox lens. I would say that another reason not to use the Raynox lens and to buy the Nissi instead is that uh, on some magnifications you get a lot of vignetting with the Raynox lens, at least if you have a big front element. So here the Raynox lens is used as close as possible and as you can see you get very close to this small ant. But here it is a bit less close and as you can see there is some very dark vignetting uh, in the corners. And that is something you will not get with the Nissi filter but that you will get with the Raynox if you have a large front element of your lens. So that is something to consider. Alright, I hope this video was um, helpful to you. Uh, there is a certain niche for this Nissi filter but it is not for everyone. In many cases you're much better off with a Raynox lens or with a dedicated macro lens or even maybe a reversed normal lens. That's it for this video, thank you for watching, over and out, bye!